The date was December 12th. After telling HBO's Real Sports that he weighed 290 pounds, Charles Barkley tipped the Studio A scale at 326 and voiced his objections. Man, this scale ain't right! The following week, in a Tonight Show appearance, Jay Leno put circumference on another scale with roughly the same result and the same complaint. Jay, this scale wrong, too! One night later, back in Atlanta... January the 31st, of 2002. Two. I'm gonna weigh oh, with nothing but my drawers on. <laughs> on this show? On this show. And I can tell <laughs> by the calendar on the watch that it is it's today's January 31st. It's today, today's 2001. January 31st. And two. And, oh, I've been and folks are looking and seeing. Oh, well, where is wait. where is Charles Barkley? He's he's not sitting here. If he didn't weigh this much, he'd be okay. Charles is backstage right now, getting some last-minute advice from a guy who knows all about weigh-ins. You may be familiar with this guy if you watch over the weekend as Vernon Forrest claimed the WBC welterweight title with a thorough demolition of Shane Mosley. Vernon Forrest, the new world champion. Hails from Atlanta, and he joins us tonight. He's back there in the green room, I assume, with Charles Barkley. Is, is he back there, Vernon? Yeah, he's back here. Oh, he, he's looking good. Hey, Vernon, you should have trained with him. Then he, I would be confident that he's going to be able to reach his goal. Did you do any training with him? <laughs> no, but I'm hoping, I'm hoping that he, he did his road work and uh, he didn't eat anything today so he can make sure that uh, make it, that worked today. Hey, what happens before a weigh-in? If you've got to lose a few pounds in a hurry and really want to make your best impression, what do you do, Vernon? Take some x lax <laughs> Charles, did you do that today? I did. I wish he had told me that earlier. <laughs> no, I'm glad he didn't tell you earlier because you still got to do the rest of the show. <laughs> hey, Vernon, how about the fight over the weekend, man? That was huge for you in your career. Oh, definitely. It was the biggest fight of my uh, career, biggest win of my career, and, and hopefully uh, I can parlay it in some bigger and better things. Like this, uh, no doubt. Uh, uh, tell me this, if you, when you're going to go on the scales at a weigh-in, uh, how do you look intimidating? How do you look your best? Is there a certain posture? Is there something you can impart to Charles here tonight? Well, I just hope Charles got clean underwear on. <laughs> <laughs> we just hope he has some on. <laughs> uh, wait, I, wait, I don't understand, Vernon, because most boxers don't wear T-shirts under their robes, do they? No, no. That's, oh, that's I, is that coming off? I just need to know all, you know, he told us nothing but draws. They made me wear this shirt, my New England Patriots t-shirt, because Aww. they needed a place to hang the mic. Oh, no. They I needed gotta, a place to hang the mic. Charles. Charles. Put it on your hat. Don't make I me. Not, hey, I have, to have, so, I have to have a place to hold the microphone. Don't hey, make me play that tape back from what you said. Man. Sound man, we can find another yeah. place for this microphone, yeah, can't we? We got all kind of microphones around here. Charles, you're losing the shirt. When we come back, <laughs> he's, he's going the on the shirt. scales. Charles versus the scale. Yes, we've been warning you about this for weeks. If the children are still in the room, you still have a chance to send them up to bed. We'll be back. The AT&T Halftime Report is brought to you by AT&T, proud sponsor of the NBA. AT&T Halftime Report. This is an event that is capturing the attention of... Look at the sumo wrestlers <laughs> in Toronto with Craig Sager all gathered around the set to watch Charles Barkley. Here's Barkley. 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 Well, tell me how much you how much should you weigh? You think stepping well, on the scale? Well, I've been eating pretty good, so I think I'm about one fifty, not sixty, maybe sixty one pounds. Let's, let's step on and see if it's accurate. Okay, let's see. One one sixty, one fifty nine, one one sixty one. One sixty one. That's pretty on close, guy. Charles. Now, uh, we want to thank the folks. Thank you very much, Vernon. That's that's proof enough. See, I think I've been getting cheated because my clothes weigh a hey, lot. The I folks got... at Everlast donated that was this. Nice it's very nice. They but, know, you know, boxing is my favorite sport. That I was know. really nice at Everlast. I know it is, but I got my Patriots gear on. Okay, well, you can lose the shirt. Your mic's not attached. No, it is it's attached, attached to, it. to this, man.
You know what? This is a 50-pound you know weight. You too. told. I told my man Bill Belichick I was going to wear Patriots gear tonight. You also told the world that you, that were, you were going to get weighed <laughs> only in my drawers. Was was the way you put it? That thing weighed 50 pounds. That's, yeah, sure yeah, does. Yeah, yeah, that's what it said. So is this is this all we're getting, Charles? After See, all that building? Yeah. Come see, on, Charles man. Said, hey, I don't want to show my here. body yet. I'm not ready to show the world my upper body, oh, my stomach, and everything. My. That's disappointing. I know for all of us, even well, for the entourage. Yeah, yeah, all right. Yeah, here you go. Here you go, man. Hey, you ready? <laughs> Kid, hey, wait. What did you bet on in the pool? Huh? Well, I bet that you would have your shirt off. And I, what I did you bet on in the pool? I had your shirt off at 219. So with the shirt, I had you. I had you at 309, Charles. I never thought we'd see the day. Oh, well, that's the magic number. Because yes. if you bought 300 pounds, you're fat. Yeah, and now you're what, husky? Big bone. Big bone. Big Very nice. I'm, I'm I, just thick. I'm, we're, we're a little disappointed in the garb, I think. Hey, uh, the, the shirt weighed two pounds, too. I don't know. Tell us. Let's see if it's where a shirt weighs two pounds. Maybe if you take your shirt off. No, I'm not ready to flex yet. <laughs> I'm on the right track, though. Vern, are you, are you impressed with this display? You think he's... I'm definitely impressed, but Charles, you know, you got to flex your muscles when you're on the, on the scales, baby. So you got to, <laughs> you got to shed that shirt, man. I'm telling yeah, you, let's shed go. the shirt. Shed the shirt. Shed the shirt. Come on, man. We can't, we, can't be telling, we can't be telling the there world what is. you're going to do. There there we go. My microphone connected to it. No, go ahead. You don't there need to talk. Is. Oh, oh, he's smoked Now step on the scale and give us this. Come on, make the whole thing complete. Thanks, Willie. Charles, yes. Now let's see what it weighs. Now the shirt. Very nice. There you go. Ladies and gentlemen. Charles Barkley. Hey, hey, you, man. Thank you for hey, your I, help. I yeah. really must say, Charles, I am Shut super the hell proud of up, you. Kenny. I, 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 I bet 319. I'm like 25 pounds off, 20 pounds off. I let the world know. I'm not going to be fat anymore. I've been fat long enough, and all my friends, thank you for your love and support, and I am not going to be fat again. And that support starts with me and Kenny, doesn't it, we, Charles? Hey, man, yeah. I'll tell you. Yeah. 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 You impressed me. Yeah, very much. We'll be back to wrap things up on the AT&T Halftime Report. In in just a few. Here, this was this top that two ninety eight. I think that we pretty much was a scale. Uh, there was a lot of interest. Three thirty seven. Yeah, that, that Ooh, was, that, was fat. Man, that, that was uh, you were immense. But anyway, uh, there was a lot of, uh, of watching of, of the uh, of the way in in seat people among all of our crew tonight, watching you step on and look at this oh! t-shirt for the occasion. <laughs> look at look at all your friends upstairs. <laughs> And it was and it was Edie, your friend in, in video tape, who actually uh, selected. Edie, Edie, Edie I love 298. you. Edie, Edie won the pool. Yeah, I'm he telling. He won the pool. We're, we're guessing 298. Good Very job. nice. Good job. Very nice. Good job. Edie, you're the only person Excellent picked under 300 pounds. Thank you. I want to tell you, I picked 297. Somebody else had that. Oh, okay. Oh, well, okay. I got. I lose a pound for you tonight. <laughs> Thank you, Chuck. Hey, man, no problem. problem. Vernon, thanks a lot hey, for being here you. and to continue to the success hey, you did a in great the job. ring. And Anybody who needs this man's services to get people in shape, <laughs> yeah, exactly. he is available. And, and available. good luck with your continued world tour. I know you're making the rounds talking about the, the new title uh, championship that you won in the nice school. Vernon, write a book about losing weight. You're in the wrong business. Forget <laughs> boxing, man. You did it. You the, did it, Vernon. The third quarter is coming up from Toronto. <laughs> The AT&T Halftime Report has been brought to you by AT&T, proud sponsor of the NBA.